So if we click on this create new command file, it'll ask us where we want to save it. And so I'll go ahead and do batch process set. Actually, let's go to chain Mesa or D batch process data set. And we'll do a new folder here and do new command script. And I guess this for this first command file, we'll go ahead and be setting up a command file to a turn on a level. So I'll um, call it out pretty easily and just call it turn on level. Okay, let's go ahead and save it here. And you'll notice that it comes up, there's this text file comes up, kind of explains a little bit of where it, the template for this file is and explains if you put this little hashtag symbol in front or the pound symbol, it'll ignore the the lines that have that in the front. Um, okay, so pretty simple. Usually before I set up a, or I start writing in my command script, um, I do go through the key ins um, using the key in dialog. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. So I'll move this over just a bit. So you guys can see this sheet that I have in front. I'll go ahead and call up the key in by using the search bar. So I'll type in key, select the key in dialog. And so here we have the key in. So the specific key in that I want to use today will be turning on a level in this sheet DGN. So to do that, I'm going to call up the key in and it's going to be level set display on and the, then it, it'll it ask me for my level name and the level name in this case is DIM. So I'll type in DIM and then hit enter. And you'll notice that the annotations for the sheet are actually turned on. So that's the action that we're going to be executing in our command script. So now that we know what the key in is, we can go ahead and write it in our command file. So I'll bring that back up. And so I'll go ahead and type in that same key in and do level set display on and then type in the name of the level. And then I'll go ahead and click enter. And then just to make sure that we're saving settings upon closing each file for this batch process, the key in for that is, well, actually I'll show you in the key in here. So you type in file design. Notice that the prompt down here says settings for this file have been saved. So I'll go ahead and do file design in my add file design into my design or my uh, command script. Okay. So simple enough. We'll go ahead and hit file save here. Okay, and then we can close out of that notepad document. So notice if I move back over to my batch process dialog, we will have that new command file has been selected here. Um, if I, for some reason, didn't write something incorrectly or messed up on one of the key ins, we can go back to that pencil icon that I was talking about earlier, and that'll kind of open this up on the fly and we can make changes here. So I'll go ahead and close that once again. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.